Hey guys, it's Mary D here, and today I am going to unbox our November 2023 kits, and I'm going to start here with our November rain kit. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the papers for this kit before we get to the embellishments. So these are the papers that you're going to get in your kit. <clears throat> you're going to get one of each of these, and it starts out with the Acorn Land Simple Stories 3x4 Elements. And this is the A side with all these cute fall um, icons and the B side. And that, that is the first paper. And then you're going to also receive the 49 and Market Grove number four paper. And this is new from 49 and Market. It's got a great distressed look on the A side and then just more of a solid color on the B side. And Paper Rose Textures 1.0-C is this paper and it's like a light blue wood grain. It's so pretty. And the back side is kind of like a white burlap. Put these spread out so you can see them as I go. And the next color is, or the next paper is going to be from Paper Rose as well called Watercolors and it's Neutral E. So it's like this rusty color on one side and a nice green watercolor on the other. Then we're going to have Paper Rose Winter Woodlands plaids, which is a navy and light blue plaid. And then just a smaller, um, it's navy and like a goldish, goldenrod, tiny color on the, in between. And then Paper Rose Blueprints D. And this is a very masculine looking paper with the blueprint on the A side and just a distressed look on the B side. This one in here like this so you can see the blueprint showing and then we've got paper rose textures 1.0 d and it is blue brick which i thought was really cool and unique i've never really seen very much blue brick paper and a distressed wood plank it's like off-white grayish color on the b side and we've got two more papers we've got little adventure f which is just a sh nice stripe and it pulls in like all the colors. And then the B side is a gingham olive green, which pulls in some of the colors from some of the papers. And finally, this one is also from Paper Rose, but there was no branding strip on it. I can't remember what it's called, but it's in the listing um, on our website. And the link for all of these kits will be linked below um, in the description of the video. So the name of this paper is in there, but it's like light blue rust on the A side and like a black distressed look on the B side. So these are the papers that are going to come in that November rain kit. And now we can move on to the embellishments and you're going to get a pack of Chrysanthemum Pink Fresh Alphabet stickers and it's kind of this olive green color that coordinates really well with many of the papers in this kit. So I'll just set that right there without the packaging so it won't get such a bad glare. And then you're going to get the Shimmers Paint Spritz in Rockefeller Blue. And I can show you what color, what color this looks like on a little piece of scratch paper. Okay, sometimes I like to kind of paint with these. So I've got a paintbrush to paint out the color for you. Okay, and then sometimes I like to spritz. Oh, this one is bent at the bottom. That's funny. It's usually not like that. I need to fix. I think I'll have to cut that down. That's strange. Maybe they started doing them that way so it gets to the bottom well. Anyway, so that is the color of this Rockefeller blue spritz, and I'm gonna leave this here to dry because we'll do some more mixed media when I get to those unboxings. And then you're going to have a stencil from Paper Rose. Um, and this stencil is called Industrial Elements Stencil. And it's six by six. And it matches really well with this blueprint paper. That's why I picked the stencil to go with this kit because it just had that vibe. That's a really cool, very masculine stencil. And then we're going to have one set of ephemera from American Crafts Farmstead Harvest. And I've already opened these. Um, that's why they're not nicely in the packaging. I've opened them so that it's easy and not loud for me to open them on this video for you. So you're going to get a variety of vellum. 
a variety of vellum um, pieces of ephemera that are somewhat fall themed. This one says so very thankful. Some of these are just generic. They're not any theme. Change is a beautiful thing. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Let's stay home. Hello gorgeous. And a little frame. And then you're gonna get just a ton, oh, a little heart. And then there's, I think there's 64 pieces in here. So there's quite a bit of ephemera in here. And I'm just gonna like lay them out quickly. Give thanks, house, love, and home. Hey there, pumpkin. Baby, it's lukewarm outside. That one says, I love fall. And then just some good journaling pieces, some good tags. There's lots of tickets in this one. Um, lots, these are four little tabs, tabs. And then it's, it's pretty fall themed, but also some of these can be used for anything. I love you and just like banners better together, things like that. Let me spread these all out for you. Um, in this video, if you don't wanna watch every single minute of every single kit, I'm going to put the times at the in the description. You're gonna be able to click on them and you can skip to the next video. It'll have a little description and it'll say which kit I'm unboxing. So you can just fast forward through if you don't wanna see every single moment. But here is about wrapping up the rest of this ephemera. There is quite a bit in here. Oh, I love these. Warm wishes, lovely, splendor, um, autumn leaves, harvest, thankful, thankful, grateful. You're the apple of my eye. And then these, there's eight little tabs here and four more tabs there. Yeah, you've got quite a bit of ephemera in this kit. So this is the... Um, November Rain Limitless Kit, okay? Once you have your Limitless Kit, you can also purchase our Essentials Kit, which is just a few extra pieces that completely coordinate with your Limitless Kit. And a lot of times there's mixed media in here, so I'll go over what's in this. These four items are in the Essentials Kit this month. You can also purchase these separately as, the, as supplies last. So the first thing, that comes in your essentials kit is the Nouveau Drops in gray mist. And I'm gonna sample this. When it dries, it's like a slight hint of gray, but it also looks kind of like a raindrop when it dries. And you can smear it out. Since it is hardly colored, you know, you can't really, you can't really see it when you smear it out this particular color. It looks a lot better used as like raindrops and left whole or left to embellish rather than smearing out. And then this is the Nouveau um, Glacier Paste and this color is called Iron Frost. And let's see how this is. Oh, this is amazing. And I'm gonna sample a little. Let me clean that off so I don't get it everywhere. I'm going to put a little sample swipe. I'll just use my finger. Oh, this is really cool. So this can really be used with the stencil that comes in the kit. And I don't know if it's going to show up well on camera, but it's a bit shimmery. So it's really cool. I hope you can see that. I hope that's picking up on the camera. And obviously, oh, wow, it's really shimmery in there. Cool. The more you thin it out, I feel like the more shimmery it looks and the thicker you leave it, the more blue it looks. This is really, really cool. I can't wait to use this. Okay, so that'll work really good either with the stencil or you know, you could just manipulate it on your page to make a swipe with on the background of a layout or something like that. That's really neat. Okay, so, oh, and then I'm gonna set this off to the side again so I don't, get anything on it and then the third thing that comes in the essentials kit are these simple stories acorn lane um floral bits and pieces and normally we don't have too much floral here at not just for boys um but this was so my many fall um and leaf pieces as you can see back here so many fall icons and leaves that i felt like it was okay to use for not just for boys even though it's floral bits in the name. So I'm just going to go through these real quick. Um, 
there's just leaves and mushrooms. I'm not even gonna go through every single piece. Um, a moth and some birds, another moth, another flower, and then a bunch of leaves and mushrooms. And as you could tell, the colors look amazing with the kit. They completely match it very well. Some, just a lot of fall type. This would all look amazing layered on a page. Like I'm so excited to work with this. So that's the end of this. Just about. Yep, more leaves. That's a really giant floral one, but that could be a good layering piece. I'll put that in the bottom. Um, okay. And then it also comes with the Simple Stories Color Vibe Hickory Foam Alpha Sticker Set. So these are fairly new from Simple Stories. They just came out with the alphabet recently. And it is, how many pieces here? 129 pieces of alphabets. And they're a wood grain, the hickory wood grain. So I think you can kind of see how it all coordinates really well. So those are the four pieces that were in the essentials kit, or you can purchase them separately on the website while, while they last like that. So next, um, I will show you, I'm going to move all of this so it's not so much in the background, and I'm going to show you the paper cuts and the acrylic and wood um, embellishments that are available a la carte on the website. Alrighty, guys. I am here now with the cuts, the cardstock cuts that come, that coordinate with the November rain kit. So the first cut says rainy days. Okay, and that will make a great title on a page. And I'm just gonna set these off to the side after I show you them. So there's rainy days. There is another one that is like a photo, a fall photo banner with the little Polaroids and fall icons. There is an amazing fall wreath, hexagon fall wreath. And I'm showing this to you on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper so you can get an idea of the sizing of them. So there's the 12 by 12 fall wreath, or not 12 by 12, a hexagon fall wreath. And then there's another fall wreath that has just icons on it and Again, this is a 12 by 12 paper on the back to show you the sizing of that. So those are the various um, cardstock cuts that are available a la carte this month, new. And then we have some cute little acrylics this month that are available a la carte as well. And we will start with the one that says all boy. And it's um, like a yellow with a light blue outline. There's also the opposite. So you'll pick which which color you want when you place your order on a drop down menu. And then there's another one that's navy blue with mint and somehow I have misplaced mine that is the opposite. I have looked everywhere. I don't know if it fell in the trash or what, but I can't find it. But there is the opposite available of this. And then there are a couple Thanksgiving themed ones. There's this one that says feast mode. This did not break apart. It's just not connected. So you'll have to glue them separate on your page. There's feast mode. And then there's also a feast mode in the um, plaid option. So again, you're gonna have to choose which color when you're at the store on the drop down menu. There's another um, really cute one that says turkey day. And this is in dark brown. You'll get to pick the option of if you want it in dark brown or if you'd like it in plaid. So those are, and the plaid guys, it's a variety of colors. So it's not gonna be the exact same colors in the exact same spot as these that I'm showing you, but you get the idea. Okay, so this is the um, acrylics. Oh, there's another really cute uh, wood one it's pieces of pie three pieces of pie and these have the masking left on them so you can color them with um inks or paints or whatever okay so those are the november next we have our thankful mini kit and this kit is um 
It doesn't come with instructions, but I'm going, I make a video that will be up on YouTube, how I put together two 12 by 12 layouts using this kit. And it's a very discounted kit. It's just a few dollars while supplies last. And it's just a little special mini kit that we have. And I will start out by telling you what it comes with. It comes with two sheets of white cardstock and one sheet of the fall fever blue and brown solid cardstock. And it comes with one sheet of this fall fever floral paper by um, Echo Park and one sheet of Echo Park's Fall Fever 3x4 cards. There's lots of great little um, phrases and icons on there. And one sheet of the Fall Fever Falling for Plaid by Echo Park, the A side and the B side. And then it comes with a 12x12 12 12 sticker sheet of Fall Fever. So that's all it comes with. It's just a mini kit, no extra embellishments, but we make um, a couple awesome pages following the YouTube video, just using these few supplies. So I hope that you will like that. And then there are a few other um, embellishments this month that are sold a la carte that coordinate with this kit and with the November rain kit. So um, let me pull those out to show to you. We're gonna start with this sequin mix and it's called Holiday Potpourri and I'm gonna try to show it to you. It has like little orange slices and little faux cranberries and little faux pieces of um, cinnamon to kind of look like potpourri, but in a sequin mini form. So oh, that's really fun to make like shakers with or embellish fall pages with. Uh, yeah, I love this sequin mix. It's like one of the favorite, my favorite ones I've ever made. We also have some of the new 49er Market peach acetate leaves, and this package is 54 pieces. And there are a few butterflies in here, but mostly there are fall leaves. And these are amazing um, to layer on your layouts. I like when they make them in different colors. They usually make something similar to this for a lot of their color lines. And this is their new peach color line. Oops. So they're in peach and you get two of each piece. Like there's two identical butterflies and I think there's two of each piece. That's what I felt like all the other times, duplicates. So yeah, there's a lot of pieces in here, a lot of leaves. So those are a couple of the a la carte things that we have in the store that coordinate with our November rain kit and our Thinkful mini kit. Okay, the next kit that we are going to go through is going to be our holiday baking kit. And I like this kit because it can go two different directions, kind of. It can go more for Christmas baking and that kind of holiday, or it can go more for Thanksgiving baking and that kind of holiday. So when I put it together, I tried to get papers that could either work either way or a couple papers for each type of holiday. And actually when I make the layouts with this page kit, because there's a YouTube video with instructions to make a layout, I make two layouts out of my kit. Um, the first one is Christmas theme. And then the second one, I just grabbed two sheets of white cardstock out of my stash for the base because it doesn't, those two sheets, those extra two sheets of white cardstock are not included in your kit. And I made, but I still used the same leftover papers and stuff to make a Thanksgiving themed um, cooking page. You'll see what I mean when you see that video. It's kind of hard to explain. So let's go through the papers that come with this kit first. And we'll start with the What's Cooking Seconds Please by Simple Stories. And this is one of the papers that I was saying might look better like on a Thanksgiving or fall theme cooking page, better than really Christmas. These aren't very Christmassy colors. And then we've got the Baking Spirits Bright tags. And the B side um, is just plain. So as you can see, you can pull some of these tags that aren't like too Christmassy. And I do that. I use some of these that aren't as Christmassy for the fall Thanksgiving layout. And you'll see how I do that in the other video. And then we've got the What's Cooking Lick the Spoon. And again, um, this is by Simple Stories. This is from What's Cooking, so it's not a Christmas line. But the colors still kind of match with these things. So you can use this on your Christmas side of the layout or on the 
um, th more Thanksgiving one. And then we've got the Baking Spirits Bright, and this is the B side, and this is, it's, this one's called Homemade Holidays, and this is the A side, and this is, you know, the Baking Spirits Bright line is more of a Christmassy line. And then another Baking Spirits Bright, this is the A side, this one's called Journaling Elements. So you've got all these journaling elements. And you'll see in my process video um, with the instructions that come with this kit, how I make this work for Christmas or Thanksgiving. And then it comes with two sheets of white cardstock. And again, if you wanted to make all four layouts that I show you in the video, you'll need to get two more sheets of white cardstock out of your stash. It also comes with this What's Cooking. Here, let me find a more neutral solid paper here. It also comes with this What's Cooking bits and pieces. There are 52 pieces in here and there's nothing Christmas theme about this. It's more just house theme, um, kitchen, Let's, you'll see. Got measuring spoons and milk, a crock pot, different little baking icons. It's so cute. There's some pumpkins, houses, so I just got all kinds of things in here. Let's see what else there is. Family is forever, love, rolling pin display. There's some of the cutest, whoop, the cutest little pieces in here. <clears throat> Refrigerator, vintage stove. I love these things. Even the little cookbook, it looks like Better Homes and Gardens, but it's it, does, it just says Best Homes. Okay, so that is the ephemera that comes in this bits and pieces. And then you're going to have a pack of foam alphabet stickers from Hearth and Holiday from Simple Stories. This set has 25 stickers, and these are mostly Christmas um, phrases. The next piece that it comes with is the thickers from Warm and Cozy and these thickers um, there's 146 pieces and as you could tell it's two complete sets or a complete set of alphabets in red and green or you can alternate them like it shows on here and then the last thing you're gonna get is a whole spool of red Baker's twine and unfortunately I already threw out the wrapper of mine so I cannot remember off the top of my head what brand this is, but it's in the description um, on our website and you can find that link in the, in the description of this video. So this is a pretty big kit and I do make, you know, I do, it does include instructions to make two double page layouts. One is more fall and Thanksgiving themed and one is more Christmas themed. So this is the page kit. And then you have the option of adding on an essentials kit to this. And if the things are available still in the store, you can also get all of these things from the essentials kit a la carte separately. So let me show you what you're gonna get if you get the essentials kit. The essentials kit comes with a 12 by 12 What's Cooking sticker sheet by Simple Stories. So it coordinates with a couple of the papers and it coordinates with the die cuts. So that comes in it. You're gonna get one tube of stone drops. And the color is Lady Liberty. And as you could tell, that coordinates really well, you know, across the board with all of these papers. It's like a tealish greenish. And these stone drops have like a little texture to them. They're almost like sand in it, kind of. But I know um, you obviously cannot feel this through the video, but there's little pieces so you can leave your stone drops to dry like a dot you know like almost like enamel dots tiny ones you can make or you can smear them out on your page or use with stencils and i'm going to show you this kind of close up and hope that maybe you can see some of that little texture to it the smeared out one so those come in the essentials kit and then the cutest little gingerbread um, gingerbread man buttons come in the essentials kit. Let me open these and show you. And you're going to get just a random array of colors. And I believe there's 12 and they're just so cute. 
there's different colors. These are, of course, more Christmassy themed since they're gingerbread men. They're little wooden buttons. Okay, so you're gonna get 12 of those. We also have those available a la carte. So you can get extras because I love those. They're so cute. And then the fourth item in your essentials kit is are these foam stickers from the What's Cooking line from Simple Stories. That's the newer, the newer line from Simple Stories from this year. And these have 52 stickers and they're just simply phrases mostly from the kitchen kitchen yummy together happiness what's cook happiness is homemade what's cooking table let's eat it's just definitely kitchen type phrases so those are the four things in the essentials kit and again you can buy all four of those a la carte if you'd like we have a few other a la carte items um that coordinate with this page kit and the first one is these little cute sequins it's hard to see them they're like snowflakes and teals and blues but they match really well with the colors here they're definitely a holiday festive feeling sequin mix and then the cutest little ones here these are our gingerbread sequin mix and they've got gingerbread men and gingerbread houses and candy and candy canes and Santas and snowflakes along with sequins mixed in there. And I love that mix too. I really, really enjoy making the sequin mixes. So I love all of them. I don't have favorites, I don't think. Um, let's see. We've got a couple other a la carte items in the store that coordinate with this um, page kit. Unfortunately, I threw the packaging away for this one, but it's a Simple Story stencil and it's Christmas light swags. So that'll look really cool on those kind of layouts. And then the bits and pieces that go with the Baking Spirits Bright, because if you remember, some of the papers in this page kit were from the Baking Spirits Bright line. So we have the bits and pieces from that line available a la carte and there are 62 pieces in here and these are more christmas themed like the ones that came with the kit were the um what's cooking theme the more thanksgiving theme and this set these a la carte ones are the more christmasy themed let me just quickly show you a few of these like a christmas apron peace love and joy the christmas tree so you can see how these are a little bit more Baking Spirits Bright, it says. These are a little bit more holiday themed than the ones that come with the kit. Christmas wishes, hot cocoa, pies and cakes, and more pies. Oh, this is so cute. Gingerbread men on a tray. So um, again, this is in the a la carte section. And then we have coordinating paper cuts and acrylic and wood cuts. And I'm gonna clear this off so that I can show you those on a nice clean slate. First, I'm going to show you the um, cardstock cut. It actually says holiday baking. So it's like the perfect title for your layout already. I'm showing you this on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper so you can see the size of this. So it's a nice big title for your layout. It says holiday baking. Okay. Let's scoop this off to the side. And then the acrylics, there's one acrylic. I'm going to take them out of the package for you. There's one acrylic that says the word bake and it has two little mixers, a green one and a teal one. And there's another color option in the drop down when you shop when you're shopping on the site for the bake, the other option is this plaid green with Christmas trees on it with a teal and a pink mixer. So those are the two options you'll pick from the drop down menu when you order. And then we've got this really cute um, Christmas, I think of this is called gingerbread and cocoa mix of wood veneer and or wood, um, wood embellishments and these have masking left on them so you can alter them and paint them and color them and you just peel off like one color at a time um 
like if I wanted to paint the little eyes first, I would peel off that first, paint the eyes, and then I could paint the other colors as I go. I'm gonna link a video showing you how to do this um, in the comments section, or in the description of this video. There's gonna be another video link to show you how to alter these and color them with all different different things. Nouveau drops, ink, markers, paint, etc. Okay, and then there's this five pack of little Christmas icons. These are so cute. A little Santa, an elf, a snowman, a gingerbread man, and a reindeer. So these are the wood and acrylic and paper embellishments um, that are available a la carte this month. 